Hi, gang. We're just going to go over three general theories of motivation. Motivation, of course, being trying to explain why people do what they do. They're general theories. They apply to everyone. They do not necessarily take into account individual differences, but they do explain to some extent why people do what they do. And the first theory is the evolutionary theory. This explains that we do what we do because of genetic program. Ming. We do what we do because of instincts. Uh, for example, the picture on the top left where people are running. Why do you run? You run to get away from danger. You run to get to safety. That would be an instinct. Uh, the picture of the two children hugging. That instinct to connect to other human beings is natural. It's always there. Uh, if you're thirsty, what do you do? You drink. If you're hungry, what do you do? You eat. That's the instincts. So the reason why you do what you do is in order to satisfy those innate biological or genetically programmed drives that you have. Another theory to explain why you do what you do is drive reduction theory. In here, in drive reduction theory, we do not like being overwhelmed. We do not like being too hungry, like the horse at the top. We do not like being too tired, like Snoopy in Woodstock. We do not like being too cold. We do not like being too hot. And when we feel too much of something, we want to reduce that. We do not like having one urge particularly overwhelming all of the others. Because what we really want is homeostasis. And homeostasis is a balance between all of our drives. So we like it when we are just right temperature-wise. We like it when we're just right hunger and thirst wise. We like it when we're just right awake versus asleep wise. We like to be balanced. We do not like to be overwhelmed. That's why we do what we do. We address what is overwhelming us so it can be reduced so that way we can feel like everything is in balance. Now the last theory that explains in general why people do what they do is the optimum drive theory which says that people will seek out their own preferred level of arousal. This explains why some people can only handle the merry-go-round because in terms of arousal, that's all they are interested in. This explains why some people will stand in line to ride some of the best roller coasters on the planet because that is an arousal level that they seek out. Um, hopefully you can see the gentleman who is jumping out of an airplane. Again, that is seeking a preferred level of arousal. Within this theory, we also talk about how while you are pursuing your own level of preferred arousal, you also operate best at a moderate level of arousal. So everyone does well at a moderate level of arousal. Because if you're too stimulated, you can't think straight, you can't function straight, you are uncoordinated, things do not work very well. On the other side, if you're not aroused enough, if you're not engaged enough, then you are not being careful, you're not paying attention, you're not getting done what you need to get done. Whereas in the middle, if you are pursuing your level of arousal and you are in a moderate level of arousal, you are going to be able to function. And that's how optimum drive theory explains why people do what they do. It's about pursuing the level of arousal that you need to function best. And those are the quick three overarching theories explaining why people do what they do in general, why people do what they do in, they gen in general. So thank you. Bye-bye.